natural to be worried. Is it? Yes, and we wouldn't let your dad see you if we hadn't had very positive reports from his probation officer. And everyone deserves another chance. But I haven't seen him in years. He doesn't even know me. You'll have to see him if it's going to upset you. No. I'm ready for it. She's used whistles all the time to attract attention and motivate people. How would you like to swallow that whistle, Chloe? Just listen. Since we didn't go on the weekend camp, I thought we'd have a meeting about... If you want a meeting, how about you put a nice, quiet note under our doors? Or you just ask us nicely. Yeah. Why? Crash's daddy's coming to visit. You mean Crash's loser daddy's coming? And what's that got to do with this? Look, it's going to be a really rough day for Crash. He's really freaked out about it. Like I said, what's that got to do with this? It's a really important visit. He and Crash have got a lot of issues to sort out. They have to learn to bond together again, start the healing process. What? Just checking. I thought Elaine the Plane Girls have cloned. <laughs> All I'm saying is make sure you give Crash and his dad the space they need today. Wait a minute. You give us ear damage and dragged us away from minding our own business to tell us to mind our own business. Oh, tragic. I don't know why you're wasting your time. Crash's dad will only let him down. You don't know that. <laughs> Excuse me, but I think I know a bit more than you do about hopeless dad syndrome. I'm just telling you to butt out and give him a chance. You butt out. No, you. No, you. No, you. Just want you to know I'm here for you. Thanks. Well, that's very nice of you, Jackie, but I think Crash needs a bit of privacy right now. Don't worry, I've already sorted that out with the other kids. You'll have all the privacy you need. Jackie, it's too late. Wait. He's here. It's all right. No, it's not. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Oh, Crash! Jackie, just give the guys some space, huh? Shelley's still getting trapped in the office. I didn't think he'd get to me like this. I know it's tough, but what are you going to do? You won't wait forever. <coughs> well, I'll just see him. What do you think I should do? He's a loser. Tends to get lost. No! What do you mean? Look how worried Crash is. But his dad might be different now. What, a few anger management classes and he's turned to an angel? If he leaves now, Crash will never know. Shut up, both of you! I've got enough of that going on inside my head without you two shouting it out. See, you're just making things worse. What, me? You're the one making things worse. No, it's you! No, it's you! No, it's you! No, it's you! I'm going to talk to Crash. I can't keep here in the office much longer. I wouldn't interfere, Shelley. The kid needs to make his own mind up on this one. No, you! No, you! No, you! No, you! And what do you know about it, anyway? I know Crash better than you do. And now he's... gone! Why don't you stay? Uh, you haven't had the grand tour, and it really is a very interesting building. Please don't go, Dad. Why don't you two go out in the garden for a while? It's uh, nice and private out there. Okay. No more interfering, either of us. It's a deal. We leave them in peace to talk. Good. And if the end result is that they want to get back together again, then that's great. Or not. Whatever they decide. It wouldn't be interfering just to have a little look, though, would it? So how grown. close is it? No, you first. No. It's all right. I'm just saying you've grown. Nearly a man. 
funny. You look smaller. Working out. Nothing. I don't believe it. They're supposed to be exploring their relationship and working on their attachment disorder. Not playing football. What? First me. Then you. I think Elaine's been cloning us in our sleep. Oh, what a horrible thought. Yeah, but you're right. What if they don't ever get round to talking? Yeah. It'll be a disaster. How can we not help them? <laughs> we didn't do enough of this, did we? No, we didn't. never get it back now. She's a kleptomaniac. You two having a nice chat? Hey, mates of yours? Yeah, good mates. Do this for me. Sound like me, right? No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> Liam. Dad, they call me Crash here. Crash? Yeah. I smash things when I'm angry. Liam, <laughs> What's up? Mike promised he'd fix it. He's been busy. He'll get round to it. I need it today. I know a bit about bikes. Let's have a look. Great. Nice one, Jackie. Was it now, Elinkins? What part of leave him alone don't your brother understand? He's out there bothering Crash and his dad. Not half as much as you're bothering me. Well, if you're not going to stop him, we will. Nobody stops me or my brother doing anything. Got it? Got it. Right, well, we'll just pop off then. Yeah, pop off. <laughs> You really need to take better care of it. How? <laughs> Clean the chain. Oil it now and then. No one told me I had to do that. Look after it or you'll lose it. Believe me, I should know. Oh. Crash. Your dad's okay. Looks like a good setup here. It's okay. So, you happy? Yeah. I always dreamed of spending my childhood in a care home. I'm sorry, Liam, for everything. I couldn't have messed up more if I tried. You hurt me. I'm really sorry. If I didn't love you, I might have got over what you did to me. But I haven't. I'm still angry with the whole world. And 
that's your fault. Amen. And I wouldn't blame you if you never forgave me. I didn't say never. What's that face like? Crash's dad. Mending my bike. Well, that's bad. You don't need a stupid dad. You've got me. And I've got you. We were each other's support system when the world was big and scary. They're talking. Now we might get somewhere. What did your mum to get together on? Maybe a hopeless dad's better than no dad. Liam, I came here to tell you that I'm really sorting my life out. I've got a job. Good. A few weeks, I'll be able to get a flat. Great. You can take it easy at first. You can visit me in the flat, then stay over the weekend, maybe. Dad, wait. You can do your room out. You can paint it yourself. No. No, you're right. Too messy. I'll paint oh, it. Stop it. You're, all messy. <laughs> you're trying to control my life. No, I'm not. I'm trying to be a proper dad for once and do what's best for you. And that's the problem, isn't it? You don't know what's best for me. You thought you could just swan in, be dad for a day and fix everything. Well, we can't be fixed just like that. Liam, I didn't mean to rush you. This is never going to work. Just go. Hold that. Justine! I have had enough of you not listening to me. This is none of your business. So let the staff... Keep... Face it, Mike. What do you know about being a kid in care? Point taken. Oh. I overreacted. I'm no better at all this in years. Come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. You'll never come back now. Yes, I will. On one condition. You call the shots for a while. <laughs> Thanks. Can we start with a movie? I'd like that. Uh, Mike, I think it's time to butt out now. Yeah, give the guy some space. <laughs> well, you, stick around. There's more beaker to come. But why can't we help choose a new head care worker? It wouldn't be appropriate. Besides, head office is sending us their top three candidates to interview. What the head office know about this place? Or us? We live here, we should have a say. What do you think, Mike? I'm staying out of this one, kids. Look, if you really want to help, you can meet and greet the candidates and show them to the office. Gee, thanks, Shelley. You're all heart. I don't believe you, Lock. Things are about to be turned upside down, and you're playing piggy in the middle. Crash is right. Shelley's leaving. We're getting a new head care worker. And no one's even asked us how we feel about it. What difference will it make? No one sticks around you for long anyway. We just care kids. This is that kind of attitude that'll land us with another Elaine. Is that what you want? What do you suggest, Bob Galdorf? I don't know. That's why I'm talking to you guys. I've got it. We can put the candidates through the dumping ground test. Since when has there been a dumping ground test? There isn't one. Yet. What do we want from our head care worker? Who cares? Bound to be rubbish anyway. 
Millie and I have got a fancy dress party next week, and we still haven't got any hats, so they need to be able to make costume hats. Good ones. Number one. Must be creative. Someone who could shoot some hoops might be good. Number two. Sporty person. That's good. Keep them coming. Someone who knows cool things, like what's the name of Johnny Depp's wife. Number three. Popular knowledge. Anything else? Well, I've got a good sense about people. I can see auras sometimes. It's like a sixth sense. Fair enough. They must be able to pass the Alice test. Everybody happy? Great. So grab some arty farty beefy know it all with a special aura. Sounds realistic. Shut up, Roxy! Well, hello there. I'm Mr. Willis. It's a pleasure to meet you. This way, please. Oh, my very own guide, splendid. What a fascinating staircase, great feature. These old houses really do have it all, don't they? Really fascinating stuff. Fascinating, right. Oh, Mr. Willis, come in. Oh, yes. Cheer up, mate. What never happened? You've not met Mr. Willis. I don't even know why Shelley wants to leave. Um, well, number one, constant food fighting. Number two, constant cranks. Number three, need I go on? Oh, ha, ha, ha. You won't be laughing when small dinosaurs breathing down your neck. Well, hopefully Duke will be back by then. And he can do the dinosaur taming. Uh, Mike, I think you need to accept that Duke's not coming back. You're just like us. You come in here thinking it's just for a few days, but it turns into forever. Oh well, better go pick up Mr. Fascinating. Oh. Thanks very much. Absolutely delightful to meet you. Um, Mr. Willis, there are some fascinating, um, period features over here. Would you like to see them? Oh, really? Oh, yes, please. That would be fascinating. Let's play the weakest care worker. Mr. Uh, Willis. Mr. Willis, we have certain standards here at the dumping ground. And we all agree that our new head care worker must be creative. I don't understand. They have to be able to make things. Things like fancy dress. Here are your materials. Marco and Millie need two costume hats. You have five minutes. Your time starts now. These are rubbish. I tried my best. You are the weakest care worker. Goodbye. So, Alice, what did his aura tell you? Is he a boring man by any chance? Wow, Roxy, did you sense it too? moves. <laughs> So we have some questions to test you out on. A quiz? Well, that should be a doddle. Used to have nightly quizzes in my last home. 
Losing team did the dishes. <laughs> right. <coughs> Ready when you are? Your five minutes start now. In the Simpsons, what is the name of the school principal? Skinner. What team does David Beckham play for? Real Madrid. What is the name of Gwyneth Paltrow's child? Strawberry peach pear. Apple. Mrs. Hood, you scored full marks. Ah, uh, of course I did. <laughs> Which means you leave with nothing. What? Why? Nobody likes to know it all. You are the weakest care worker. Goodbye. 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 So, Mr. Meg, what did you learn from your sixth sense this time? Her all was very clear. There was a lot to see. It's not looking good. They've both been hopeless. And these are supposed to be the top three. Oh, chill. The next one's called Lucy, and she might be just what we're looking for. Lucy's passed the costume challenge, and she survived a general knowledge round. But can she go all the way? Now, it all rests on this final ball. Oh! Well, I've always said that nobody's perfect. She's fantastic. As far as we can see, there's only one person for the job. That's me, right? Glad you think so. Mike, this is Lucy, our new head care worker. Well, hopefully. Really? Nice to meet you. Uh, no, I'd, uh, I'd shake your hands, but... Uh... Well, um, you two should talk. After all, we could be working together soon. <laughs> See ya. So, um, the interview went well, then? Oh, it's the perfect job for me. Uh, have you worked in many care homes? Not yet. I've just finished university, but I can't wait to try out all my theories. Right, well, uh, don't worry. You'll have plenty of support from me. My dad, I'll need your help. Best you stick to fixing bikes and I'll sort out the kids. strongest care worker. Stop, wait! Lucy's always really weird. I don't like her. Don't be silly. Lucy will be great for us. I hate to say it, but Alice is right. What do you care? You haven't been bothered all day. She used to work at my old care home. We've done a year about her. Hi. I don't remember her. That's because she dyed her hair. Ah. Oh. Come on, Roxy, spill the beans. She left a boy in the attic with no food or water. He ended up eating his own pet gerbil. Yeah, right. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. I really thought she'd be perfect. Typical. This is as good as it gets for us. Mr. Fascinating, an over-eager quiz captain, and the Wicked Witch of the West. There's got to be someone else. Lunch, 15 minutes. Oh. And for dessert, there's ice cream. <sighs> and our noses the whole time. What? Smells nice. Thanks. What are you after? We just realised. You fix our bikes. Remember our birthdays. And never lose your temper, no matter how many stunts we pull. 
You could run this place. Just doing my job. No, you really could run this place. Don't look so surprised. We all agree that you're the best man for the job. Who's we? Us. Wow. Thanks. I'm not so sure it's really me, though. Is it? Sorry, kids. up there. This really sucks. I know. Well, I've made a decision. And I'm really going to miss you all, but I've no doubt that the replacement that we've chosen for you is going to do a great job. So, give a warm welcome to your new head care worker. Well, if you want me, Got me. Roxy, there's one thing I don't understand. Lucy said that she'd just left university. She can't have been at your old care home. I know. I made it up. Didn't like the look of her either. Don't look at me like that. It doesn't mean I like you. I can make my world come here. 